Hello everybody, my name is Nai and I'm a black female engineer. I provide content for you and aspiring software engineers and today we are talking about the key habits of the best software engineers and these are things that you learning to code or being a new developer you should be doing today 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 so that it's not as like you never want to like start a good habit when you like need to you know what i mean you want to like practice it so that way when you like do have that job and whatnot it's like boom she has amazing practices amazing habits let's keep her on the team so the first one is asking for help this is something that i have struggled with for a very long time and i still struggle with i kind of just like do it scared and do it uncomfortable and like do it insecure um but yeah asking for help when you need it now that being said because in this field you're constantly learning there has not been a day where i have you know clocked into work and i haven't come out learning something new and that's because the world of tech and the world of computers and programming is just so huge and the problems and tasks that we are handed there's sometimes like just a little maybe a little something maybe a big something that we just don't know and so we need to be okay asking for help that being said though i recommend staying in that uncomfortable spot of the not knowing for a little bit before you ask for help because when you go ahead and ask for help immediately after getting a task you never really like grew you just got told the answer rather than seeing all these different answers seeing how to problem solve learning how to debug and whatnot and then after all that time at least a few hours going and asking for help and yes you may just be given the answer however you still learned a lot through that process of debugging and researching on Google and things like that that in itself is a big learning process knowing how to find answers and so I recommend kind of like struggling a little bit before you just go on and ask for help but yeah you gotta be comfortable asking for other people's assistance number two you need to be able to have a little bit of foresight when you are coding so you let's say you get this assignment and you yeah code it out have it all put together however it's not considering certain conditions like okay well what if two people are using the app at the same time or what if x y and z happens like you need to be able to kind of put in different cases different scenarios and adjust your code based on what may or may not happen with these different scenarios because yeah your code works right now but what about one month from now or about two months from now when x y and z has changed so make sure before you send things up for review or before you call it a day on your assignments, you're thinking like, okay, what if this happens or what if this happens? And just put up a list of like different if cases and try to think like, okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe I can adjust this code so that even though this thing isn't a problem right now, so that in the future it can stay running smoothly and whatnot because you're gonna have to address it anyway you know you're because two months from now even if you like let's say wrap it all up and everything's approved two months from now people are still gonna come to you and be like hey it's not working properly and then you need to adjust anyway so you're just saving yourself time and a headache and actually also showing that like okay i was able to jump on this and again it's that constant practice being able to practice that foresight setting up things for the future will go a long way number three i am actively practicing this I, I think i've gotten better and that's staying calm amidst all the chaos and when i say chaos i don't necessarily mean actual chaos of the office or things running around but just going through code and going through your assignments it can feel like chaos when you see all these like bugs just coming on and it's like oh my gosh like wow like it's so easy to get all ramped up and just not feel settled and everything and so being able to stay calm amidst all that chaos will save you so so much so much stress and honestly time also because a lot of times i'm because i'm just like ah, i don't know what to do i end up just like shutting down basically and so being able to find ways to cope and stay calm amidst all the chaos oh my gosh like oh my gosh please please 
just work on this. Something that has helped me is just simply reminding myself that, hey, one, this is just like, this is work. You know, like, there's a bug here, there's two bugs here, there's going to be a bug tomorrow, and one tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and so on. So, like, remembering that, like, okay, this this is just the life I signed up for. Like, that helps, because then it makes it a part of the normal day, rather than, like, something that shouldn't happen. When I, when considering things like bugs and errors. It's like, it's not that it's something that shouldn't happen, it's just part of the normal day, and just, like, go through it. And that's the job description. And so, remembering that actually helps me a ton. So, figure out what things you need to tell yourself to stay calm amidst the storm of it all, and that'll... Help it. And then lastly, the best software engineers are ones that don't shy away from collaboration. There's this like, and I get it, I get why people perceive software engineers this way, but this whole, this was the word image, I guess you could say, of, you know, the closed off developer who has their earphones in and don't doesn't talk to anybody and they're terrible at communication, they can't talk to people and da, da, da. And I get it. Again, even saying it, I'm like, I under there is there are those people, but the best, like truly, truly, the best software engineers are ones that don't shy away from collaboration because that's what helps you the most and also helps the unit you're in, the company, the team, the most. Because with this knowledge share, again, software engineering and programming tech is just so large that there's no one person that knows everything. But by you having that collaboration with your team members and other people, you're putting in your two knowledge, like your two backgrounds and tech experience together to create a beautiful solution, a fantastic creative um, solution for the task you're trying to accomplish. And now you have a piece of their knowledge, they have a piece of yours, and you are better developers for it and so make sure that it's very easy to fall into like even me saying it I know I can fall into that wormhole of like you know I'm just gonna like go 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 but then don't shy away from collaboration of course it can be scary of like okay well I don't want to like ask dumb questions or I don't want x y and z but see point number one um and like just in general sometimes you're just like lord just get me through the day like I don't want to talk to anybody <laughs> like, so I get it but embrace those opportunities when they do come to you so make sure to keep remembering that and keep practicing that no matter what level you are in. There we go, everybody. The top habits of successful and amazing, wonderful software engineers. Let me know what phase you are in in your journey to becoming a software engineer. If you, are you still learning? Are you like new? Are you 50 years in and everything? Like, let me know in the comments below and I will talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.